What's going on there? Welcome back to the Bin Life Ride. It's another weekend of getting out and exploring some of Lexington, Kentucky's murals because as we discovered, there are way more than we thought there were. So it's gonna take more than just one video to get through all these. We are again going to support a local restaurant. One of our favorites, Sahara. It's a Mediterranean place on the other side of town. Um, we do not eat out often, but if we did, this would definitely be a regular in our rotation. It is absolutely delicious, and I am so excited to go there. So join us as we continue on our mural tour. And uh, if you haven't seen our first video of checking out the murals, look right up there somewhere, and I'll add that up there. But uh, yeah, let's go. Now, if you are on Manchester Street and looking for the distillery district, it can be a little bit tricky to find, but a really good landmark to look for is this mural behind me right now. If you see that, you should be getting ready to turn left into the parking lot of the distillery district. I went with the kebab plate and I got chicken and beef. You get to choose two and a side of fatouche. Um, it's one of their many salads. I don't know why I picked it. Um, it just looked good to me. So the one thing about this kebab plate is that it does need to be cut. It's not already in bite-sized pieces, which is really the only negative for me. Um, and especially if you're taking out and eating somewhere other than home or in the restaurant, it makes it a little difficult. But some of the best things about Sahara for me, other than the food is so delicious and fresh, is this garlic sauce that they give you. And I like to mix it in with the hummus. Um, you know, I dip it, I dip my, my meat in it just for a little bit of extra flavor, but it's great mixed in with the hummus when you're eating your pita bread. This is probably one of the meals I would bet is just as good taken out as it is in the restaurant. Because I think the way they're set up is just, I don't know, I guess it's just the type of food that holds up really well when you take it out. Now, if you've seen our video about some of the best cheap eats in Las Vegas, especially on the Strip, you know that one of our favorites is Istanbul Mediterranean. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it right up here. But Sahara here at home is way better 
than uh, Istanbul Mediterranean. This is some of the best takeout food in Lexington. And like Catherine said, it's probably one of the only takeout meals that is exactly the same, whether you eat it in the restaurant or somewhere else. And that's one of the reasons why this is going to be so good. I got the beef and lamb shawarma, which is what I usually get. Their meats are delicious, and it also comes with their yellow rice and their white rice. So you can kind of mix it up a little bit, and then also th their white Greek yogurt sauce. And I'm like Catherine too, I tend to grab a little bit, dip it in the sauce, has such a good flavor like the flavor of the mediterranean style really comes through but it's not overpowering like it's just it's done perfectly we highly recommend this place uh one thing to note though they do shut down in the summertime so you want to be sure to check out their hours before you drive over there i don't know if that's going to matter yet or not because i have a feeling they kind of travel out of the country at the time for their summer vacation but keep that in mind if you are going over there Another thing about Sahara is that they do sell out throughout the day. So you either want to get there early or call and place your order to, to make sure you, you don't miss out on getting their food. And it looks like they are staying pretty busy during uh, COVID-19. They had six feet spacers all the way from the inside all the way down the sidewalk that you could see and that's really not that shocking because they are always packed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, stay safe, stay healthy, and hey, tell us in the comments below, what's your favorite local restaurant to go to? Because maybe one of these days we might be in your area and we'd wanna check it out too. But until then, we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride.